really. You really got to... Yep, I'm having evidence of this thing broken. Should have gave you the GoPro. Well, I'll just send you the video. Oh, when did you put that on there? Hey? The loop. Ages ago. And then you just tipped it all on the ground? No, that's what I put on it. I was running it out. Trying to get as much of it out so I can store it with normal fuel in it. Store it? Oh, for the week? Yeah, the 85 is no good for storing it. It gels up and turns to shit. Yeah. I don't know if I'd be going up to light a smoke with that stuff. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I got that on recording. That's come off three times. <laughs> I'll have to make my own YouTube channel on how many times this car breaks down. And then I'll, I'll advertise it in the same places that Savage Six is advertised. <laughs> So when you got the keys in it, you know, you get the cold. Oh. Yeah, but you can drive it. No, I'm, I'm driving. He's sitting there. I'm not sitting there. He was going to make me drive that, but the brakes are really good on the cruiser. So I thought they would probably slam the brakes on, he'd rear end me. No. So I was going to drive the super. Excuse me. What is the go with the fingernail polish you pull? My little sister. <laughs> Just wanted to say yes. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> Honestly, fucking easier. <laughs> She's only 17, so. And? <laughs> she likes What's your 17-year-old sister doing painting his fingernails? Because I made him sit there and get it done. <laughs> For the fuel pump. So, as you see, I broke down, unfortunately. Um, but I got the culprit, it was the fuel line from uh, the front of the fuel rail to the filter. I've got this on here just for now, just working angles out, that's not a fuel line, it's nothing. But I found the culprit. This small line, see how it's got a twist right there? Because it was jammed in between the AC pump, oh, the yeah AC pump, the power steering pump, all the bracketry. Take it over and give you a little look of how big the hole is in it. Fluid's going. And we'll block this in. Oh, 
front of the middle. So that is a puncher. So yeah, that one that'd be that's my bad. I did that. But now I got I'm gonna I'm gonna piss off this nine. Obviously it's a bit of pain. And this little dude that I made for uh, pulling the oil out of the oil cooler. It's a 120, so that should get some light fuse go over instead of going down in here and twisting around all the crap. I'll get it to go over the bracket bar that holds the power steering pump, and it can go up and over that and lead down all the way down to the fuel filter. Uh, this is only a short piece, but I'll get over that bar. It's not too, but not too hard to fit. And fittings are always a pain in the ass. That to me, that looks a lot better than uh, going straight down and mixing with all the other crap. So, yeah, that'll work a lot better. A lot, a lot better. Yeah. Oh well, let me just make it line up. That'll meet to both sides and uh, we'll throw this on, put some fuel in it and see if she runs. So it made the fuel, new fuel line, it's actually shorter than the other one because this one doesn't have to twist and bob all through crap anymore. Yeah. We'll fit that. Uh, I've got 20 litres of fuel to go into the sucker. We'll prime it up and uh, see if there's any leaks and she should be a runner again. And this is actually a lot easier to get on off than, than what the old one was. Some light. I if you can see. Where am I? Here it is. Just a tad long, but yeah, that will be right. So I'll tighten that up, put some fuel in and prime it up. Alright, fuel line's on, tight. Prime it up, see if we have any leaks. channel and uh, give us a, a sub subscribe give it a like
see you in the next one.